The doctor is in. Hey guys, it's your pal, Dr. Sal again. I hope your week is going terrific. Today's topic is Verivax versus Zostavax versus Shingrix vaccines. Which one should you be getting? This often causes a lot of confusion. And in this video, I'm going to try to dispel the problems. Now, in a previous video, I explained in detail the difference between chickenpox and uh, shingles. But the key thing to remember, and a quick little recap for this video, is that to get shingles, so if we got shingles over here, in order to have shingles in the first place, you must first have had chicken pox. You don't get one without the other. These are like two different parts of a life cycle. So to have shingles, you must first have experienced chicken pox. Can't get one without the other. Okay, so establishing that fact, how then does this determine which vaccine should you actually be getting? So that's actually pretty straightforward as well. So on this arm here, under the chickenpox folks, you have offered something called Verivax. So if you've never experienced chicken pox before, then you need what we call a primary series, which is Verivax, which most kids actually now get um, as babies. Now, if you've had shingles on the other hand, you've actually got a couple different options. So one of them is Zostavax, or actually no, it's called Zostavax 2. And the other is competitor called Shingrix. Now there's some key differences also between these two. First of all, Zostavax is actually a live weakened virus, where Shingrix is not. Shingrix actually is a non-life surface glycoprotein. So basically it just helps your immune system target one of the molecular features on the surface of the varicella virus allowing you to attack it. Um, so that's one difference. The other difference between the two is that this one is given under the skin. This one is given into the muscle. This one also only needs one shot. So that's fairly convenient, whereas this one needs two shots to be effective. But speaking of effectivity, Zostavax has a efficacy rate of about 70%, whereas Shingrix tops 90%. So sometimes you get what you pay for because this one's more expensive and is a little more misery because you have to have come back for a second shot. So that's the key differences between the two. Most patients in my um, practice usually opt for Shingrix because obviously they want that extra 20% margin. All right, so next up, we establish what you need depending on where you are in this um, scenario. But very often I'll have somebody come in and say, uh, Doc, friend of my pal's friend had shingles. It was horrible, debilitating. I don't want to ever have to go through something like that. Please give me a script for Shingrix or Zosavax, whatever. And then I'll ask them, well, have you had chicken pox? And very often, if someone doesn't remember for sure, they may also not have anyone that they can reach out to to ask. For example, their parents may already be deceased. So how do you figure out from here where to go? Well, that's actually very simple too. There's actually a serum test for chicken pox exposure, serum test. So what this does is it checks for antibodies in your bloodstream against the chicken pox virus or varicella. So if that comes back uh, negative, that basically means that you've never been exposed to chicken pox before. So what that means is you need this vaccine. You need your primary series of, for an adult, it would be two shots. For a kid, baby, it's one shot. Now, if the serum test comes back positive, positive means that yes, your body has a memory that it has kissed this varicella virus before. It's been exposed. So if that is the case, then your 
path is going to be this one. You're going to have to choose between Zostavats or Shingrix. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this dispels all the confusion around vaccination for chickenpox as opposed to shingles. Thanks for watching and I'll be in touch again soon. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now. If you found this video helpful, support us by sharing it with all of your friends and throw us a like below. You're a star. Cheers and cheerio.